tell you a look at the Intel Optane P4800X. This Xeon D system running it is using 54 watts right now. There's no airflow because I have a ribbon cable going to the PCIe bus. And the FLIR thermal camera in my hand is confirming the temperature of the system. Looks like it's at around 100 and 406 Fahrenheit. It's been left running for a while, but the uh, Windows Server 2016 that's running on it is pretty much idle at the moment. So, I'm going to now put some load on it. Uh, HDO Dispatch run for a couple minutes will be a pretty good abuse test, and we'll see it heat up. Okay, so now the drive is being exercised. There's a load on it, and we went from 54 to 72 watts. And now the temperature. Let's find what's the hottest spot. Uh, let's see if I have a way to show you both the device and the camera. Okay, we have good focus now. And it really seems to be holding up nicely. We don't really see it getting significantly warm quite yet. So uh, behind the camera there, let's see, we're still at 78 watts. So you can see evidence the drive is still being exercised, but very little evidence of a significant uh, heat up going on quite yet. 109, 110. Just mentioned these Intel Optane boxes, those are Optane memory, those are caching devices for a laptop, say. Uh, but the P4800X we're looking at is intended for, you know, data center use, uh, high write endurance workloads. So what we're seeing here is on the back, uh, very little evidence of, you know, thermal stress for any of these Optane modules, which are 3D crosspoint is the memory type of these modules we're looking at. Uh, the system is still burning 78 watts, 72 watts, 78, it bounces around. Cyber power is not super uh, precise with that. It jumps in increments of six, apparently. Anyhow, when it's done, it should drop back to 54 or so. So that gives us an idea of how much watt burn the Optane uses. It's quite a bit more than, say, an M.2, you know, gum stick, of course. But it's also a full, full length, sorry, HHHL, a half height, half length PCIe adapter. It has more surface area to spread out those temperatures those uh, the thermal load across the surface of the device so yeah I'm surprised how nicely it's doing you can see we dropped to 54 watts it's all done now and the only elevation was extremely minimal um, maybe one or two degrees but barely anything okay now let me set up for the next run we'll get a look at the front of the device again with almost no airflow across the device all right, that was easy. I made sure everything was shut down. I repositioned the device, made sure there's no pressure on the PCIe slot. And now we just have a vertical force of gravity on the P4800X, and you can see it much better. So aiming, again, at the Intel Optane surface. And what do you know? The front surface, uh, the aluminum, extruded aluminum, is at around the same temperature, about 100 and... Seven to so 108 at the warm spots, so not a big deal. Okay, time to exert the load on the Optane. Got to start that off. Okay, if we look here, ETTO dispatch is being run. We can see that by the watts increasing. Now let's look at the FLIR thermal camera and see if we get something significant happening as far as the temperature. Now I'm hoping the iPhone camera is focusing here. Make sure that's the case, and there we go. Hundred and seven Fahrenheit. Okay, how about this top part of the aluminum? So here we are with an open air setup, obviously. Uh, I'd say ambient room temp in this room I'm in now is probably about 72 Fahrenheit. And this design seems to be doing very well at spreading the heat out 
across the whole surface of the P4800X. Now I'm not abusing it for hours, I'm abusing it for minutes, but still it's a pretty good test. We're still hitting it hard right now with alternating reads and writes. We're at 72 watts for the system burn, or 78. Same numbers we saw earlier, and the highest number I'm still seeing is around 108. The top here also about the same. So soon it may cool, there we go, 109. All right, so now the interesting part will be once the load is gone, ETTO is done running. Didn't really have a way to position the camera to also show ETTO running or not, but again, you can tell from the load, it just dropped to 54. ETTO is finished, running in the background now. Still at 109, and any kind of cool down, well, I don't know, it's an open air test, right? There's no airflow. So, probably takes quite a while for the extruded aluminum to show back to maybe 108, but it looks like we might be there. Uh, 109, 108, somewhere in that range. So, extremely uh, small elevation and temperature when doing this quick little bit of uh, kicking the tires of the P4800X to get an idea of how it performs under stress, open air with almost zero airflow. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and thanks for visiting tinkertry.com.